It's Cambridge Half Marathon 2024. Can I go sub 125 today? There's 10,000 runners out. Awesome. Let's get this done. Come on. Hello, I'm Nick. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome to any new viewers or subscribers. I'm currently five months into documenting a 12 month journey as I train for a sub three hour marathon. And this is Saturday, the day before I do Cambridge Half Marathon, which is my big race for this spring. And it's absolutely chucking it down. So me and my pal are doing better Mac and just doing a 20 minute easy for the shakeout run with a few strides at the end as I just set myself up for tomorrow's race. So in this video, I'm just gonna talk you through what my plans are for the day, a little bit about how my take a week has gone, how I prepare for the half marathon. And then it's onto the race itself, a little bit of history in terms of my half marathon races I've done to date. So I first started running back in 2010, my first proper race was a half marathon, Robin Hood half marathon. I did it in 137.54, something like that. Uh, it went super well. I, I did wear two pairs of trailer socks in my ignorance. I had massive blisters, but actually the race went better than I could ever have imagined. So it was brilliant. But what then did happen is for the next about seven years, I uh, tried and tried to beat that time and I couldn't. So didn't really make any improvements on my half. And then when I did, Stevens half marathon in 2017, that was only by about four seconds or one second or something ridiculously tight. It's only really in recent times I've made more progress. Sorry, just hopping round puddles here. It is pretty foul out here today. So the biggest kind of step up that I took has been going for one hour 35 a few times and at Stafford half marathon in March 2022. Oh my god, so many puddles working my way around somehow. Feet are wet. I did 134. So that was about three, almost four minute PB. Uh, first time I think I wore, ever wore super shoes, so I wore my Nike Alpha Flies, so that definitely helped, no doubt. Then in, I think it was November of that year, 2022, I then did 131 at the Stevens Half Marathon. And then uh, coming into last year, so one year ago, Cambridge Half Marathon, got a big PB for 127.16 another four minutes off my time first time ever going under one hour 30 so that was a major milestone for me what a year it's been since so to say now one year on what am i aiming for what is the plan for race day well i've got an abc goal which i always recommend uh just so i manage your expectations so my A goal is low 124s, maybe even into a 123. So the pace is 6.25 per mile or 3.59 per kilometer. So that sort of low 124. Um, and the hope will be I can kind of sustain that pace through to 10 miles uh, to 16K. And then for that final 5K, which is a bit downhill after a slight uphill, but Cambridge is very, very flat. So we're not talking anything major either way. But yeah, fast finish and try and just really kick on in that final 5K and see where, see where I end up. So that's the aim. Um, I'm feeling fit, feeling strong, but you just never know on most days. So my B goal, is sub 125 anything under 125 which has really been my aim kind of through this period of training 
tyre as that will give me some real confidence that I'm in the sort of shape to go sub three and then Seagull is a PB I don't think anyone can ever not going to get a PB you know you've run faster in a certain distance than you ever have before and we got yeah we got to take those when we can so I feel like I'm in really good shape to do that but anything under 127.16 will be a PB and that's the seagull that's what I've got planned um, I'm going to take you through the previous week uh, just, I've actually because I'm not doing a marathon this spring been able to kind of have a particular fo focus on this half marathon and so I've had a decent paper so yeah I'll just take you through the week that's been and then we'll starting it cracking onto that race Monday I did six side football as usual about one point 1.5 miles something like that Tuesday so I was doing my usual interval session I actually did a mile warm up about 10 minute mile and then two miles at my half marathon pace to 6.25 or 3.59 per kilometer and to be honest didn't feel fantastic I was in my endorphin speed freeze so my kind of tempo shoe uh, but yeah I just struggled to kind of get into a bit of a rhythm really and it didn't feel as easy in a vertical commas as I wanted it to be so not ideal but it is what it is then a mile or so cool down it's only about four miles that day Wednesday it's actually away for work in Edinburgh a beautiful beautiful city it's a little bit of a chance to explore so I did about 30 30 35 minutes with some strides just to get my legs turning over a bit more quickly at the end and then on the Thursday I'm still in Edinburgh but instead of doing sort of another 30 minutes I actually ended up walking quite a lot and so I thought I'd just do 20 minutes uh, and, and actually cut out the strides as well just 20 minutes easy so a couple of miles nothing more than that Friday I rested my usual rest day and then today as it is Saturday say so another 20 minutes easy with some strides at the end we've uh, done over 10 minutes now so not too much longer to go um, so yeah as you can see a really tapered down week I've been doing sort of an average of about 40 to 45 miles and uh, this is going to be significantly less than that so yeah I've been really able to prioritize the half marathon which is great and that just leaves me to get on and do it so uh, so next time you'll see me it'll be on the day and preparing for the race good morning it is Sunday, it is race day. Just walking to uh, where I'm getting picked up uh, by Mike. We've got Stu and Vicky and Annabelle in the car. This year, people, it's good for the environment. So it is zero degrees Celsius temperature, real field minus one. So it is chilly. Uh, but I don't mind it cold. Still planning to run in my vest and shorts uh, just with some gloves uh, but I'll get one I'll get one but excited for the day slept well uh, yeah just ready to go now so yeah I think it's about 45 minutes to Cambridge let's get to it It's warm up time. I'm in the, uh, the shirt that's ready for charity, so uh, yeah, dressed up to the nines for this one. Uh, yeah, we've got about 25 minutes to the start. Hems open shortly, so 
just getting a mile done beforehand. Had my breakfast, peanut butter on toast as usual, it's about three hours before. Been sipping on an electrolyte drink both in the morning and uh, just yeah, heading to the start. I'm gonna take one gel shortly, so 15 minutes before, and then uh, have one gel during the race as well. Aiming, say for 124, 124.07 is uh, the sort of specific time for, so I go through some bollards. Ah, it's very busy, uh, so yes, 124.07 is why I run. 625 mile pace from 59 all the way around. Obviously hoping for a fast finish, but we'll see. Feeling good. Can't wait to get going. Come on. It's Cambridge Half Marathon 2024. Can I go sub 125 today? There's 10,000 runners out. Let's get this done. Come on. That's the first 5k, 1958. Pretty much bang on where we want to be. So we'll keep going at the pace. That's halfway in 42.30. 10k, 39.52 on the watch, but about 18 seconds slower on the split. We're on pace. Now they're going to get stuck. Maybe see you at the end. That's 10 miles, 104.15, 5k to go, come on. So we're at the 30 mile, part, mile mark, a oh, few moments to uh, reflect, uh, absolutely chuffed with 123.22, here's the medal, the battery died so forgive me for not getting too much footage but it was all about racing today, uh, such a great event, such a great course, I'll do a, a, a proper uh, recap video but uh, yeah just wanted to drink in a little bit of the atmosphere now and just show you the finish line the final point one of what is a brilliant race so yeah firstly thanks to Mike who ran with me the whole way and having that company makes such a difference but yeah I'll do a proper recap but uh, just show you a little bit of the course Well done guys, great running! Oh, Watch the oh, oh, That's it for this one. Well, thanks for tuning in. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you for the week. Cheers.